Hey guys, it's Brittany with Scott Lurie Marketing. Today I wanted to go over the Homekeeper platform and everything it has to offer. Homekeeper is a free premium account that you're given as Keller Williams agents, which will not only allow you to share your preferred vendors with your clients, but they also have an interactive app that you and your clients can download on mobile devices to have your vendors available at all times. They also provide a self populating blog that is compatible with your command website. This blog will automatically post two to three articles a week, which are all geared towards real estate, such as helpful tips, do's and don'ts, things that your clients may need to know going through that buying or selling process. So today's class is going to be completely through the Homekeeper platform. So I'm already on the Homekeeper login screen. Notice the spelling, it is home.homekeeper. K-E-E-P-R dot com. And once you guys get to this platform, again, it's home dot H-O-M-E K-E-E-P-R dot com. You'll notice a sign in screen on the top or a sign in button on the top right hand corner. And we're just going to go ahead and select the first option, Realtors. Once you selected that, you guys will have your actual login screen. Today, I'm going to be using a brand new Homekeeper account, one that has not been set up yet. So if you have already set up your account, don't worry, some of these steps may not be available to you. Um, however, you can still go through and make sure that all of the blanks are updated and or filled in. Um, if you have an account and you're unsure as to what the login may be, you can type in the email address that you think the account is under, whether it's your Keller Williams email or a personal email. And then you'll just go ahead and click on forgot password and that will actually email you a password reset link. If you do not have an account, let us know. We can be reached via email at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we can set you up with a free premium account. Unfortunately, if you click on sign up, you will not get the free premium account. They'll just give you the free regular account through Homekeeper, which just gives you a lot less access. So if you do not have an account, definitely let us know and we'll get that set up for you. So to continue, I'm just gonna type in my login information. Then we'll just get logged in. And when this comes up, most of you guys should have a red bar right here. So instead of blue, you guys should be seeing a red background. Again, this account has not been set up at all yet. So I'm just gonna go through the process and just add in some of my additional information. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my phone number. I'm gonna add in my state. I already have realtors selected. My email is already here. First and last name are already here. I'll select the board. And you'll see once you add in your state, it's going to start narrowing down your information. So the boards that you are seeing are probably going to differ from mine if you're not licensed in the state of Florida. And then once you select your board, you'll select your market center. and then type in your zip code. And once you have all of these pieces of information added, we're just gonna go ahead and click on save and continue. And then you'll notice once you've added your information, it will also change it to being red. For your picture, if you guys have a headshot, you guys can click on upload and add this in here. Or if you don't have a headshot yet, you can skip this and I'll show you guys where to add this in later as well. So if you don't have one instantly, don't panic. You can get back to this later. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Um, logo should automatically pull the default Keller Williams logo. If you guys have a team logo or you guys have a broker, um, broker center specific logo that you do want to add, you can by all means adjust this. You can also do this after the fact. So if you guys have already bypassed this, again, I'm going to show you guys how to edit this on the back end as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on save and continue. Once we get to this screen, 
This is allowing you to actually pull the vendors over that are either associated with your office or associated with your board. I'm going to select both of these boxes just so I can pull these over. You'll notice that you can delete any of these vendors at any time. If you guys already skipped this and you did not add these in, don't worry, Homekeeper can add these in for you and I'll hyperlink their support email right in the bio of this video so you guys have it. Um, but you can shoot them an email. You just need to essentially provide your board information and your market center information and they can get that added for you. If you guys are following along and setting up your account now, I do recommend checking both of these off because you can manually go in and delete them, but it allows you to pull all of these vendors in to start. Once I have those checked off, I'm just going to click on save and continue. And then this brings us right into our Homekeeper account. So in order to get into the main dashboard, I'm just going to go ahead and click on home. And once we're in here, you're going to see all of these little icons and we're just going to go through these today just to kind of show you again what's available to you. So starting off with my info, I'm at 70%. If I click on this box, it's going to pull up exactly what we just filled out. So you guys have access to up, update your name, adjust your name. If you have a different email address, if you want to change your password, you want to add or edit a headshot, you want to edit your logo, that's down here, real estate license numbers here, um, office phone, all of this information can be updated right from this section. And whichever section you're updating, you want to make sure that you're clicking on save. If you update both of them, you want to make sure that you're saving both of them. You'll also see right here, here's Homekeeper support email. If you guys need that for any reason, support at homekeeper.com. If you guys need to make edits to your existing account, it's all under my info. I'm gonna go back up to home. And then we have my vendors. If you are not showing any vendors here yet, if you did bypass either the board information or your office, offices available vendors, that's completely fine. These can be added to, added to your account by Homekeeper support. But we're going to go ahead and click on this just so I can show you how to manually edit these if you need to. It does take a second for them to load. But once you guys pull this up, you'll notice that you guys have access to essentially select it. You guys can delete these. You guys can view the entire profile. You guys can pull up their information and make edits if there's maybe a different um, email address that they have or whatever it may be. Um, you guys can manually come in here and delete these. So you have complete customization available to you for these vendors. Um, these, again, are the vendors that are pulling over from the board as well as the office. You can also add in your own custom vendors just by clicking on add vendors, pulls up a blank page for you, and you can go ahead and select the category, um, company name, essentially any information you have for that vendor, you would go ahead and just select it and input it, and it will add it to your vendor list. But you guys can also um, select by category. Give it a second. You guys can select by category if you're looking for something specific. You guys can narrow it down. Let's see what's in here. HVAC. So it pulls up all of the HVAC specialists that are in here. You can also invite other ones in here. Um, so you guys have access to all of this. My recommendation if, is if you haven't started playing with this or adding in some of your vendors, um, definitely take a look here. If you are looking to have a list of vendors added, if you don't want to sit here and type in every single contact, you can email an Excel spreadsheet with your vendors over to Homekeeper support, and they should be able to import that in for you. So keep that in mind. Um, you can reach out to them directly, support at homekeeper.com. Keep in mind, Homekeeper is spelt a little bit differently. It's home, K-E-E-P-R. Dot com and they can actually import a list for you. You can also snag your social media URL. You can either post this on social media, you can add it to your website, and this will actually allow vendors to approach you in order to be added to your vendor list. So that's also a great alternative. I'm gonna jump back into home and we're just gonna click on my clients. For my clients, like I said, I am working on a brand new account, so I don't have any clients added here yet. 
with the account that you guys are given, you do have a thousand slots for clients. So these would most likely be active clients that you're actively working with, someone who may have already purchased a home or sold a home with you as a real estate agent. You can go ahead and either share this URL or you can manually add them here. The nice part about manually adding your clients is when I click on add clients, it actually allows you to select what type of client they are. So you can go ahead and select buyer, seller, past client, prospect. And when you click on that category, it will allow you to actually import, meaning that you're not going to have to sit here and manually import your clients. You can actually pull them from an email, um, Google contacts, draft your own email, email via CSV, whatever works for you, whatever format you guys have, you can add these in. You can also manually add a client. If you only have one that you're looking to add, you can manually add them in or you can just share your invitation link via email and it kind of puts that on them. So if they sign up, then they would take one of your 1000 spots available. So you can also use this in order to just give them access to the Homekeeper platform. This will allow them to create a login. They'll be able to access your vendors, the blog information and all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on cancel. Go back to home once more. And then we have important links. Important links are pretty much the links that we've already touched upon. You have your branded moving concierge, you have your client invitation, vendor invitation, and branded blogs. The beauty of the branded blog is that you can also add this to your website. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that next. Um, you can also add your vendors to your actual website. So if you guys have already confirmed that you have vendors populating, there is a way to add that as well. So, but these are available just in case you guys need them. Let's go back to home. Our next one are the two widgets. So this is where we're going to pull the code to add it to your, the blog to your website. Also how to pull the code for the vendors for your website. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on my widgets. And then you'll see here, we have the My Trusted Pros widget. This is where you guys would share your vendors. This is exactly what it looks like. We do have a class, Website 201, which I'll hyperlink underneath this video. And it goes over how to add both of these to your command website and how to use them. But this is just a preview, shows you what it would look like once you add it to your website. If you are adding this to your website, keep in mind you do want to use the iframe option as JavaScript is not currently available on the command website. So you would want to make sure that you're using the iframe code. Then you'll see this other tab for the blog. When we click on that, here's our preview. Shows us exactly all of the things that they've recently posted. Um, most recent one was actually today. And then you'll see all of the articles populating here. And you'll see again, there are the two separate codes. iframe is the one that you're going to want to stick with if you're adding it to your command website. And like I said before, this will automatically populate, which is great. So if you guys add this code to your website and another post comes up in two days, it's going to automatically update on your website. So you guys can literally add this in and never look back. And that's the same for your vendors as well. If you guys are consistently maintaining these, you're going in and you're adding accountants, or you're adding handymen or painters, as you're adding those to your available vendors, this widget is automatically going to update on your website. There's no maintenance required once you add this to your website. We'll go back to home and go to, to the next icon. Right here, it shows you how many blog articles are actually available as of right now. There's 334. If you guys do click on this, it's just the preview. What we were just looking at is just larger. So it's the exact same preview we were just looking at. And this is how it would essentially look on your website. Your clients would have the same access. They can click on load more and it will pull up older articles, whatever it may be. And if there's a specific article that you like and maybe you wanna make sure that you share it, um, or if it's something that appeals to a certain client, you can always open up the article and share it directly as well, which is kind of cool. I'll give it a second to load. So you'll see here, it pulls up, it has all of your information on here, and you can actually share this URL directly with a client, and it will allow them to see this article specifically. 
So this is a great tool just to kind of keep in mind, especially if at this time you're looking for a blog that is real estate geared, that is going to be something that you can essentially link to your website and not have to worry about. So that's very helpful. I'm gonna go back to Homekeeper and I'm gonna go back to Home. Our next one is our client activity tracker. This is not going to show anything for me right now, only because I don't have any clients added yet. However, we're gonna click on it just to show you what it will actually capture for you. As you guys are adding clients to your um, Homekeeper platform, you'll notice total clients, one, it's including myself, um, points of contact, branded emails, total page views, and it will actually break everything down for you. And it will show you how many times the person is coming, logging into your Homekeeper account, if they've actually utilized any of the vendors that you guys have shared. Um, it just kind of gives you a heads up as to what clients are utilizing this tool. That way you just have some feedback. It just kind of gives you an idea of the traffic that your Homekeeper platform is getting. I'm gonna go back to home once more. You can also send direct messages to your clients. As of right now, I don't have any clients set up. It's only myself, which is the owner of the account. But if you guys are setting up clients on here, you can message them through here. Just keep in mind that if they reply, it will come back to here. So make sure you are checking this if you opt to use this as a messaging system. Then we have our marketing materials. And go ahead and click on that. This is going to give you some flyers that you have available to you, which will automatically brand with the information that you've added under the My Info section. So this is where you guys can actually update any of your information under My Info. It will pull over to these. It shows them how to download the app, how to use the app, um, settling in. These are just marketing materials that you guys have available to you, which is very cool. Um, it's just giving you another marketing piece. You guys can add this to your website. You guys can add it to an email. Maybe you're sending out a monthly email, a newsletter, whatever it may be. Um, but these are great tools. Just to keep in mind, you guys have them here. They're pre-generated flyers available to you guys um, associated with the Homekeeper platform. Let me go back to home. <clears throat> and then last but not least is just your plan. If you guys are in a situation where you have over a thousand contacts, you guys can opt to pay for higher numbers for contacts. Um, actually, it looks like you guys are capped. You guys are at a thousand. So as of right now, you guys are actually at the highest plan available with a thousand contacts. Um, one thing you do wanna keep in mind where you are capped at a thousand, you can also come in here and I'm gonna pull, go back to home where you guys are capped at a thousand contacts clients within your Homekeeper platform, you can remove clients as well. So if you guys are at a thousand and you guys come in here and you maybe take a look at your client tracker and you realize that you have, you know, 300 clients that signed up and have never actually used the platform, you can always come into clients and actually manually remove them, um, which is kind of cool. So it just, it's one of those things that you do want to make sure you're sharing it with an active client, especially if they're asking for recommendations for maybe a vendor or whatever it may be. Um, you can always share this information with them via either the important links, or they can also go to your website, which is kind of a nice little workaround. They can go to your website and search for a vendor as long as you guys have added that vendor widget without having to create an account. That is a free search. They can go in here, they can search, they can look at the vendors without having to actually create an account on Homekeeper. So that's a nice little workaround as well. Um, if you guys have any questions on this platform or if you guys are having any issues with it, definitely let us know. Or if you are looking to, again, have an account set up, shoot us an email over to support at Scott LeroyMarketing.com, and we can set you guys up with that free premium account. Um, and again, I am going to hyperlink our website 201 class because it will go over how to add both of these widgets to your command website. And that way you guys can get both that blog as well as the vendor platform added to your command website because it's just a great marketing tool and it's some content that you guys can get added to that platform. Um, and as always, if you guys have any questions, just let us know.